What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Very exciting video for you guys today because we're here with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro and we're going to do a full driver demonstration and we're even going to compare it to our top of the line Foresight Sports GC Quad golf launch monitor. Now, if you guys are not familiar with that, that's four cameras using infrared on all four cameras, super high shutter speed and frame rate that this thing can produce. I'm pretty sure everyone that is probably watching has heard of it and knows it's kind of the benchmark for accuracy, especially when you're talking about an indoor environment like this, the way it can snapshot a ball. I've done some testing. It looks like I, I got like one or two, I think, random misses um, because I think you have infrared working on both of them. If we run into that, then I'll just want to make sure you guys are aware of that now. But I also hit quite a few where I had no issues at all and it didn't look like there was any interference. I think you're going to be surprised at the numbers that I'm seeing. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I actually have my camera recording the screen at quad because then I just don't have any worry of uh, different numbers between software. I don't have to match uh, you know, even more software up. I just thought it'd be easier to do it that way since we have so much going on. And then I'm out here at the simulation range. Rapsoda range figured to use their native software. Okay. Um, my local elevation, it's like 800 feet. Um, and then using obviously the RPT ball. And uh, you guys have seen a lot of my driver shots. So you know a lot of the numbers. I can tell you right now, the only thing that I've seen so far is it looks like the MLM may be just a little low on launch angle. So let's pay attention to that and then we'll look at all the rest of the numbers. All right. Pretty well struck ball to start off. 110 club head speed, 162 ball speed. Quad had it at 278 carry. And look at this, 277 carry. 2645 spin, and I think this had 2700 spin. You can see the club's, uh, club head was the same. Uh, my club path and face were really good, but notice the launch angle. 14-1 versus 11-8, even though the calculation is telling us that the carry was only one yard different and the spin was only uh, you know less than 100 or so different um, spin access to the right and then spin access on quad and i can flip that back and forth if needed to a little bit to the right 2.7 versus uh, 142 um, and i could even switch that two degrees why don't we go ahead and go in here really quick I think under settings, let's go settings, spin mode, axis, total. So I think that is going to give us now, there you go, three degrees right versus 2.7 right. So only 0.3 off difference from quad. So interesting though that the launch angle it, you know, is showing low. Um, and I know what my launch angle is, you know, for my TrackMan fittings down at Carl's Golf Land, um, various equipment that I use, and that is a little low. All right, let's hit another one. I'm going to try to hit this one with maybe a little bit of a toe draw. So I'm just going to step back here a little bit. We're going to try to hit this a little towards the toe if we can. And we'll see that impact on quad to verify. All right. It's very tough for me to have a miss like that, but you can see huge miss towards the toe. Not going to get good distance because, you know, there's no smash out there at the toe, but that's a miss you want to be able to see. Um, and I'm getting obviously a very, very big left curvature from that gear effect um, on both 13 and 13. Spin 34, 34, 250 carry versus 250 carry. Launch angle 15.7 versus go ahead and flip to it 17.2 so once again a little low on the launch angle um man i'm kind of glad i was able to hit that far on the toe on demand um not that easy for me to do but we pulled it off so that was important so we kind of had that straight ball and then we had a toe ball um let's see if i can hit a fade uh you know this is something that i've been working on See if we can get this club moving the right direction. Even if it's a big miss right, that's, I mean, that's fine too. Try to get that club. There we go. 
So it was a little low on the face, but you can see I was out to in and open, and that was my goal. Um, so it was spinny, so we got a spinny ball. Launch angle, once again, 2.7, that's uh, 2.7 low. So we got that ball moving to the right. Look at the carry on that for being a big miss. 239 and 233, ball speed 157, 156. I mean, I had my, my club head speed up there for being such a weird swing. All right, and then now, I didn't uh, look at spin axis. 14.4 versus 14. Man, the spin axis is like bang on. All right, try to hit maybe a normal drive again. Pushed it a little bit, but that's okay. A little spinny for me, 3165, uh, a little lower on the face than, uh, than normal, but 267 versus 268 carry, ball speed 160. Club face was a little open, and then uh, spin axis 12 and 12. So let's see if I can maybe release that club face a little bit. And how was that launch angle again? Uh, 11, 9, and 14, 3. So still just a little bit low on that launch angle. All right. Get this more center in the face. Try to get that spin down like that first shot. That was struck pretty darn well. Be interested because I felt like the launch, yeah, a little lower than normal. Um, 279, I mean, that was a really good ball for me. 279 carry versus, now here's where it gets interesting. Algorithms are going to come into a play. Most people know the foresight when you get down there close to 2000. Seems to carry more than some algorithms. I mean, some people agree with it. Some people think it's a little more, a little less. But that is like an ideal driver for me. You know, um, looks like 1.1 left versus 2.2 left. So maybe when those ball speeds start cranking up and I can get close to 170, um, you know, once I get warmed up one of these days, maybe we can do another, uh, another comparison video. But I think that this is a perfect example of, you know, gear effect, um, draws, fades, uh, you know, pretty much everything you need to know. I mean, that's, that's probably one of the, I mean, that, if I could hit that drive out on the course every day, that's all I'm trying to hit. So you guys got to see a really good swing as well. Um, how about launch direction? We'll have to, you know, rewind the video and look at launch direction. Every one of these, uh, 0.3, right. And then that was 0.1 negative. Um, yeah, so that, yes. I mean, but just a little, little different on launch direction. Um, these are, these are very interesting numbers, guys. I want to hear what you have to say. Comment below. All right. I want you uh, to let me know what you want to see. This was pretty highly demanded. Um, you know, it's not super easy to put videos like this together, but I know you guys are wanting to see this. And, uh, you know, I want to be very transparent and show you the data that I'm getting so far with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. As I mentioned in other videos, if you're looking to purchase the unit, you know, please use my link. Um, it does help support the channel. And I greatly appreciate that. So stay tuned for more. Like I said, comment your thoughts and questions and what you want to see below. Thanks for watching.